how do you grow rice in a desert? Well, that's exactly what's happening behind me, as you can see. We're in Sharjah's al Baid region inside a rice farm. It's a new experimentation in the region and it's already bearing fruit. Let's check it out. It starts right here. It may look like an ordinary farm, but what's happening here is pretty radical. Rice is not native to hot, added temperatures of a desert. Plus, there is little soil and very little rain. So how do the UAE scientists do it? When the plant is uh, cultivated, we use two different methods uh, to test which one works be uh, best for the UAE condition and for our soil condition. One of them is direct sowing and the other one is transplanting. Uh, after that, we basically k monitor the, the, the field, we water it, and this net is have only been actually installed recently because when we have the plant uh, almost ripe, we have a lot of bird damage. So we want to um, actually uh, prevent any bird damage. The first harvest of this farm took place in 2020. Then 763 kilograms of rice were reaped from an area of 1,000 square meters. It's a collaboration between UAE and South Korean scientists. At the transplanting, maybe before the launch, we will finish it here. Yeah. And we want to protect the cold during the night. So yes. we will cover something on the field. Yeah, yeah. because so of the five the, degrees. During the night, we can protect the cold. And also during the day, we can protect the cold. From heat. And yeah. Yeah. In this side, we're using uh, furrows or canals with flooding. And in this side, we're using the same canals with drip irrigation to test the difference between the two irrigation methods. And what has been the finding, uh, if I may ask? So, uh, we can see that furrow is working for us, but uh, furrow with uh, uh, flooding works better, especially when it comes to the weeds. The farm is growing two varieties of rice here, both developed by South Korea. They are known for their ability to tolerate heat, salinity and poor soil conditions. On the right side, this is the Asimi. So this is the successful variety that we had in the first stage. So last year, one of the many varieties that we've tested was Asimi and we are cultivating it here again. Uh, this year and this is a really good variety for cultivation in the UAE because it's strong it's it's from what we have seen recently it was able to tolerate the temperature uh, change that we had recently the UAE is one of the top 10 global rice importers in the world it relies on shipping and air freight for almost 90% of its food and while the country avoided any disruption in its food imports during the COVID-19 pandemic, the novel experiment at this farm is one way the country plans to increase its local food production. It's always difficult to introduce a new crop, especially such as rice, that is very sensitive uh, into a new environment. Uh, but with the science today and the scientists that we have today and the vision and support that we have, of course, there's nothing that is impossible.